morning and welcome to Purpose for Life Ministry. We are so glad that you decided to invite us into your home this morning. Please join us as we declare that, that Jesus, Jesus is Lord and God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. 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 join us as we affirm our faith for, for this, this is the day that the Lord has made. We're, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day we're going to be a blessing to God and to others. This is the day we're going to be victorious over anything that the world or the devil brings our way. This is the day we're going to be fruitful and effective in everything that we put our hands to do. This is the day we're going to have peace that the world didn't give us and the world can't take it away. This is the day we're going to be healthy from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. And finally, come on now. This is the day we're, we're going to let go and let God have His way. Amen. My brothers and yes. sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What Lord. another beautiful day that the Lord has blessed us yes, to have. Yes, Lord. Ooh. As you heard it said, this is the day that yes. the Lord has made. Amen. 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 How many of us are going to rejoice <laughs> and be glad in the day that this Ooh. day that God has opened for us? Thank Amen. You, Lord. Amen. All right. Ooh, are we ready for the word? Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. If you would, then turn with me to uh, 2 Timothy. We're going to look at chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 1 through 4 mm -hmm. of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. I'll be reading from the New King James Version, as always, and welcome once again to Purpose for Life Ministries. I am Pastor Don Mumford, and uh, that was my beloved and my daughter, uh, Hazel and Yvonne, and uh, leading us in the affirmations and the welcome and the praise. And uh, we already got our praise on, by the Amen. way, just so you know. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus, yes. All right, are you there? Amen. Second Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Mm -hmm. Beginning in verse 1, it says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses... Commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Ooh. Verse 4. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Amen? Amen. 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 I want to read verses 3 and 4 again. Mm -hmm. It says, you therefore must endure hardships as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And then verse 4 says, no one engaged in warfare. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Entangles himself with the affairs of this life. Why? Because he wants to please. I'm paraphrasing now. Mm -hmm. But it says, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Amen. Amen. The message today is a two-part. Okay. And it's going to be entitled, Soldiers in God's Army Don't Faint. Amen. But now I need somebody to add to that and just say with me or say right behind me, mm -hmm. we win. Oh, we win. Soldiers in God's Army Don't Faint. We win. We win. Amen. 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 Yeah. You, you Amen. need to understand that, that if you are saved, surrendered and submitted to the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ, you have been enlisted in God's army. Amen? Amen? Now, I was sitting there thinking about that, and I thought about this analogy of how, you know, we probably have seen it on TV or, or at least heard about it, where there's a line of folks that are, uh, you know, and, and say are in a ranking, mm -hmm. say in the army, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, the, the captain or whoever's in control or in charge might say, I need a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And everybody backs up except one. <laughs> Nobody stepped forward. <laughs> 
but everybody backed up except the one. Mm -hmm. And the one that stood still and didn't back up, mm -hmm. he said, oh, thank you. You yeah. enlisted, you know, you, you, you volunteered. Well, this is how it is when you become born again. Yeah. You might not have realized that you were enlisted, mm -hmm. <laughs> amen, amen, in the army of the Lord. But if you look here in verse 4, it says, No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who did what? Enlisted him as a soldier. Amen. God chose this person, yep. which is Timothy, Paul's referring to, mm -hmm. to be in the uh, uh, army of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So that means if you are in the army of the Lord, if you are saved, surrendered, and submitted to the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That means you stand with others. Mm -hmm. You're not in this battle and you're not in this army by yourself. Thank you. Amen. But you're in an army with people. I call quotations like faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are in an army and you're standing with other brothers and sisters like you mm -hmm. who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who stand for Jesus Christ, who are surrendered to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Submitted to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And saved by Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. Because we have an enemy. And the enemy, we are going to have to stand against. Mm -hmm. See, we're standing for God, but we're standing against the enemy mm -hmm. and his demonic influences. Mm -hmm. See, because the battle is not natural. The battle is in your mind to rule and to control what you do. And depending on your decisions will determine whether you're, you're, you're being a good soldier for the army of the Lord, mm -hmm. or whether you're just being used by the adversary to cause blemishes on God's army. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Wow. Now, let's look at verse, verse 1 of 2 Timothy chapter 2. Okay. It says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. The apostle Paul is writing from prison. That should tell you something right now. Mm -hmm. He's trying to encourage Timothy, who's not in prison. Mm -hmm. But Paul is in prison in this second Timothy, mm -hmm. where he's trying to encourage Timothy, but also instruct him. Okay. You are in the army, Timothy. My brothers and sisters, we are in the army yeah. of Amen. God. Amen. Once we got saved, we by default enlisted. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, right. We became God's soldiers. You know, different ranks, but God's soldiers. Amen? Amen. And Timothy is being reminded by Paul on how to win a war that he's going to face or that he's facing right now. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's knowing where your help is coming from. Yeah. He says, Timothy, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. We need to understand where our help is coming from. Amen? That's right. It's the grace of God, the power of God, Amen. that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, this is interesting that we, we talked about Christ Jesus because of my, my sisters in the Lord that we, we talked about a little bit of before, about that word Christ mm -hmm. before the word Jesus. Yeah. And how that word means the Messiah, the anointed one, the commissioned one. Amen? Mm -hmm. The one that God chose. To, to bring uh, uh, a benefit to the world. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? But now, Jesus is not only Savior. This is the blessing that God has used to get us yeah. into the kingdom and thus enlisted in the army of the Lord. But it's not only he saved us, mm -hmm. but Jesus is also king and he's also um, a priest. Yeah. He's also our leader. Yeah. He's also our provider. Amen. Amen. That's necessary for us in order to win in the battles that we face in yeah. life. Ooh. Amen. Amen. See, because whatever battles we're facing today, there's grace that will sustain us through it all. Amen. 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 He says, be strong in the grace mm -hmm. that is in Christ Jesus, yep. the one who is the, the king and the leader and the priest who makes intercession yes. on behalf of the saints, Amen. Jesus. That's who we have to rely on and depend on. Amen. Not in our own self, not in our own power. Right, that's right. I believe it's uh, Zechariah 4, 6 says, It's not by power nor by might. It is by my spirit, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Amen? Amen. 
the problems that we that we're facing right now might seem to be a little difficult yeah. or too difficult, yeah. amen, for us to handle to handle, and will try to wear us down. But understand this: God's army will be faced with opposition. Yeah. That's normal. That's, that's just a part of being in a soldier of the army of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to deal with the opposition. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to deal with the devil yep. and demonic influences. Amen? Uh -huh. This is normal. Don't, don't get it twisted. Don't be surprised. The Bible tells us throughout the Bible, there's different things that God tells us to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. He always tell, he, he tells us uh, to know your enemy. Yeah. You know, like, like he's, he's cunning. He's the most cunning beast of the field. Mm -hmm. He tells us he roams around like a roaring lion, yeah. seeking those whom he may devour. It's not a surprise when he shows up then. It shouldn't surprise you when things start going crazy in your house. Right. When things that are not normal start to be uh, 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 affecting you in such a way where you're like, where did that come from? Right. How did this happen? Why is this person acting like this all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's not something that is, is uh, uh, normal in the sense of you can understand it, mm -hmm. then understand this. If you can't understand it, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make sense, and it's to tear you down or to cause chaos or, or confusion, that's the adversary. Right. He's trying to cause us to stumble. He's trying to cause us to make decisions that is not going to bless God, but hurt God. Right. Or put a blemish on God, because we can't hurt God. But put a blemish on God's plan for salvation as a witness. Amen? Amen. This is all set up to give us, it's all set up for us to give in or to give up. Look at chapter 2, and let's look at verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, you therefore must, what? Endure. Endure what? Hardship as a good soldier mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. He says, look, when you feel a little weary, go to the Christ. Go to the Messiah. Go to the anointed one. Go to the appointed one. Go to the king. Go to the priest. Yeah. Go to the one that we need yeah. the grace to be able to get through. Amen. See, we can endure anything My God. with God's grace. Thank you, That's Lord. Right. Mm. Paul said, Lord, when, when, when Paul was, was uh, uh, put in a position where a thorn was, was messing with his flesh, he prayed, Lord, take this thorn from me three times. And God says, basically, he didn't say no. He just said, my grace is sufficient. Yeah. Like Paul, he didn't say, I'm, I'm going to take it. He didn't say, I'm not going to take it. He just said, my grace will, 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 is sufficient for you. My grace will get you through it. Right. You'll be able to handle it. You might not feel like you can handle it. Mm -hmm. Because when you're going through, you know how that is. Mm -hmm. It feels a little hard and it feels mm -hmm. like you want to, like this is just too much. Mm -hmm. And you want to give up. But the grace is where God says, turn to. Be strong in the grace mm -hmm. that is in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. yep. Remember the word Christ. Yeah. He's not just Savior. Right. He's King. He's your King and my King. He's your priest and my priest. Amen. He's your leader and my leader. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. All right. Amen. 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 So when you get a little weary, mm -hmm. we say go to the Christ. Why? Because he's the one that has the wisdom, yeah. the power, and the ability to turn your struggle into victory. Amen. You hear what I said? We are soldiers in God's army, right? Mm -hmm. We don't faint. We, we win. win. Amen. We win. You might not think you're going to win, but you will win if you don't grow weary and well-doing, if you faint not and give up. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. Again, I say, wait on the Lord, right? Okay. <sighs> Remember, you're in an army who's got your back. Amen. Thank you. Not like man. See, the army that is the army of God, the brothers mm -hmm. and sisters that are spiritually minded, yeah. that knows who's the in charge, yeah. that is Jesus is our leader, he's our command. When we know that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not like man's army. Right. See, man's army will do this to you. Send you to the front to be killed because you're committed adultery. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. King David, yeah. he sent Uriah, mm -hmm. his soldier, 
to the front to be killed because he wanted to hide his sin yeah. of adultery. Oh. Amen? Amen. And now she's pregnant. So he's got to do something. That's not the army I'm talking about. Right. I'm talking about the army that has your back where Jesus always went. Amen? Amen. Amen. Never loses a war, never Amen. loses a battle. Right. Amen? Amen. Y'all hear what I'm talking about? So here's what I want you to see. Paul was there for Timothy to encourage him and to remind him that he enlisted, he is enlisted as a soldier for a particular work. Yeah. Let's look at 2 Timothy and now let's look at verse 4, or verse 2 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. It says, and the, and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 4 then says, no one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you come to the place in your walk with God that you have come to realize that you are to reach out to others? It's not just you. It's not just whatever God is doing and equipping you. It's not for you. Right. <laughs> Amen? Right, okay. See, Paul told Timothy, look, verse 2, the things that you have heard from me, among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men. Why? Who will be able to teach others also. That's right. So in other words, mentorship. Amen. Teaching others. Yep. Mm -hmm. Being an example to others. That's what it's all about. Either one of these three things you're supposed to be doing to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. You're to mentor somebody else. You are to teach somebody else. Or you're to be an example to others so that others will be encouraged that God is not only with you, but God is doing a marvelous work in you. That your life is being shown and reflected as a light in a dark world. Amen. That you are a salt of the earth, which is a preservative. Mm -hmm. You're to preserve the gospel. You're to, you're to preserve the ways of the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. not the kingdom of the world. He says, listen, remember, verse 4, no one engaged in what? Warfare. Mm -hmm. Remember where you are. You're in a battle. You're in a war. Yep. But he says, while you're in a war, don't get caught up in the affairs of this life. Mm -hmm. Don't get distracted by what the world is trying to do in you to get you to move away from being a mentor, a teacher, or a teacher, or a, a witness for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because once the world kicks in, yeah. and you start to turn your attention away from the kingdom agenda into the world's agenda, now you're starting to move away from what God wants you to do and your purpose for life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're, you're doing is getting caught up in the issues of life. Right. Remember, I believe it's um, um, go to Mark chapter 4. And look at uh, verse um, this is the parable of the sower of the seed. But look at verse um, da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm -mm. Let's start in verse 13 mm -hmm. of chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all parables? He's talking to the disciples. He says, The sower sows the word. And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. Mm -hmm. These likewise are the ones uh, sown on stony ground who, when they hear the word, immediately receives it with gladness. And they have no root in themselves, so, and so endure for only a time. Mm -hmm. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. But here it is, verse 18. Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word, and the cares of this world. Yeah. The deceitfulness of riches mm -hmm. and the desires of those things entering in choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. 
And what I'm here to tell you is that don't allow the warfare that we're engaged in, which we will win yeah, because amen. we're more than conquerors. Amen. 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 We already won the battle. But unless we step away from their kingdom agenda, don't get distracted by engaging yourself with the affairs of this world right. while you're in warfare. Mm -hmm. See, it's one thing, you know, you done, you done, you done went through, you done, you done won that battle, or you done won that war, whatever that war is in your life, amen? amen. Whatever that, that, that uh, problem or that issue that you've been dealing with, all of a sudden, you've conned through it. Amen. You can mm -hmm. look back and say, if it had not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus, yes. mm -hmm. I, where would I be or what would I have, begun, mm -hmm. uh, have done? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then once you get through, through that, and you got to deal with the natural issues of life, you deal with the natural issues of life. Yeah. But not while you're engaging in warfare. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Not while you're in the middle of serving the Lord. Not while you're in the middle of mentoring to somebody and then all of a sudden something happens and you stop that mentoring mm. to go to dealing with a worldly issue. Mm. No, you put this on back on the back burner and say, hold up, I'll be with you in a little while. Right. Right now, I have to continue doing what God gave me right. to do. Okay. Mm. Amen. I'm going to finish the work that God has given Amen. me to do. Yes. Amen. 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 If you already have been in that place and you know now that what the adversary is trying to do, but you know what God has done mm -hmm. and what God is doing in you and through you, right. you know you're in a good place. You know that though we are, in, we are soldiers in the army of the Lord and we are not going to faint, we already know we're going to win. I go in there with confidence knowing that whatever I'm facing, I'm coming through this thing victoriously because I'm leaning on God's grace. Amen. Not my own strength. Yeah. So, know this. I want to leave you with these three things. Are we ready? Yes. We need to be strong in Jesus. We're going to talk about that because it said it here, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Number one, we need to be strong in Jesus. Chapter 2 of 2 Timothy, verse 1, it says, Therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Before we go into that, you all know the scripture in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Be strong in the power of God, right? Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of the Lord, well, yeah. right? But he says, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Here it says, be strong in the grace. But then he says, where is that grace? In Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. In Ephesians, it says, be strong. And the Lord, it tells us right up plainly where we're to depend on for our strength. Right. Amen? Right. Amen. Jesus is our go-to. Yep. Amen. Amen. Amen? That's where we turn to when we need grace, when we need strength, when we need supernatural power. Amen? Yes. When we need energy because we don't got a little weary. Amen? <laughs> we turn to Jesus yeah. and, and rely on the strength that he has to, to then manifest itself in us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. A lot of times, I know you all can bear witness to this, where you feel like you're really kind of tired and worn down, but then something happens where you need to minister to somebody. Yeah. You get a phone call, and you were tired. But that phone call, God then uses you and, and gives you whatever you need, supernatural power and energy, mm -hmm. to focus on answering the person's question or praying with that person, yep. amen, because you know that person needs God. Amen. And all of a sudden, you who were laying there a little sleepy, weary, get the phone call, next thing you know, you're, you done got some energy, and you're like, now you're ministering. You're on the phone, or you're, you're talking to somebody, and you're beginning to share what thus says the Lord to them through you. Yeah. Mm. You don't even feel tired. Say. You don't even remember being tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's supernatural power when your agenda is to please God. Mm. Please the one who enlisted you as a soldier. Yep. If you need that supernatural power, you also need focus. Mm -hmm. We need to be strong in Jesus. Why? Because we need to rely on his wisdom to, to direct us to be focused on the agenda at hand. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, but it's all for the kingdom's sake. All for the 
uh, body say. Amen? Amen. Whether it's prayer, amen, mm -hmm. or whether it's you stepping out in that unknown place where, you know, your faith has to kick in, but you don't know what's going to happen. Amen? Mm -hmm. amen. You just trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's depending on the grace mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. You're not worried about what's going to happen. Right. You just trust God. You trust God that, hey, if I'm going to be strong in you, Jesus, then that means I have to trust you, Jesus. Amen. Amen? Yeah. If I'm going to be strong in the grace, that means I need to understand that it's not my power that I'm trusting on or that I need. I need your grace. I need your power. I need your strength. I need your energy. Mm -hmm. I need you to transfer from you to me by the, by the Spirit of God that is in me. Amen. Because the same Spirit that is in me is you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. God is in me. Remember Paul says, it's not me, it's the God in me yes. that That's does right. this. That's right. Amen. Amen. So number one, we need to be strong in Jesus. Amen. 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 Not turning to man. Yeah. Not turning to the spiritless. Mm. Hello. Oh, mm -hmm. Spiritless means, I'm talking about those who are not saved, who do not have the spirit of God in them. That have a form of godliness, mm. but deny the power thereof. Ooh, uh -oh. Somebody that is perpetrating being a Christian. Yep. You know them by, your fruit, by their fruit, right? Oh, that's right? You know them when they, on one day, they talk to you about how good God is, and mm. the next day they curse it. Come profanity out of their mouth. Mm, talk about it. I don't need to be turning to that person mm. for advice or joining up in prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not. What fellowship is there between uh, 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 unrighteousness and righteousness? Oh God. Mm. Ungodliness and godliness. Mm -hmm. There is no fellowship. Nope. Amen? Amen. And so I am not going to turn to depend on somebody. Amen. Amen. Who doesn't have the Spirit of God in them. My God. Mm. Now, I'm not going to be the one to say you don't have it. Mm. I'm just going to look at your fruit. Mm. And if you are you spewing two things out of the same heart, the Bible says, how can you, if you are a spring, bring out salt water and fresh water from the same uh, uh, stream? It can't. Okay. Either it's going to produce salt or it's going to produce fresh water. Yeah. So if you are doing one thing today and another thing tomorrow, mm -hmm. basically what you're doing is doing the one thing yeah. mm -hmm. and perpetrating the other thing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're, you're saying that, okay, I'm a Christian, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to be all that. Wow. I, God yeah. understands, you know, I, I, I can make a slip. Well, when you slip, then you say, Lord, forgive me. See, that's how you know there's a person that has that repentive heart. Right. When I was saved and I start and, and, and as soon as I got saved and I, I slipped and used profanity, the spirit in me said, you know, you just messed up. And I ran away. Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Now, if somebody comes and they can say profanity and mm -hmm. keep on going, <laughs> I would have to wonder where the spirit is in you. My God. Amen. Yeah. Are you spiritless? Hello. Mm -hmm. That's not for me to determine. Right. The only thing for me to determine is, am I going to be yoked with you? Right. Okay. Am I going to be looking to you to get some gain, some strength, right. amen, mm -hmm. some energy, mm -hmm. some encouragement mm -hmm. from somebody mm -hmm. that might not have the spirit of God in them? Hello. I don't need to look to that person. I need to look to the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 So number one, we said we need to be strong in Jesus. Amen. Number two, don't be entangled in life's affairs doing warfare. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. You heard me say that before. Don't be entangled in life's affairs during warfare. And we saw this in verse 4 of chapter 2 of uh, 2 Timothy. No one engaged in warfare. Amen? Entangles mm -hmm. himself with the affairs mm -hmm. of this life. Put yourself in the battlefield, mm -hmm. in, a, in a real army, you know, mm -hmm. and you're in war. You're at war. You got your guns blazing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, hello. You know, you, you got your, your, your men, your, 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 your combat uh, uh, comrades beside you on each side. Everybody's going against the enemy. Yeah. And all of a sudden, something either pops in your mind mm -hmm. that causes you to stop shooting at the enemy. Oh, man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Putting your comrades at risk 
Because everybody's supposed to be doing the same thing. Yeah. Amen? Yeah, amen. Or you get a you, you, you had a letter sent to you that you just realized you hadn't read yet. Yeah. And you're on the battlefield. You gotta stop shooting and pull out the letter and look at your what your lovey dovey sent you. <laughs> amen. Uh -huh. And this letter is talking about the the problems that she's having or he's oh, having man. at home. Ooh. Now you're distracted. Because yeah. now you care about what's going on. Now, instead of you staying focused on the war yeah. that you're in, you're entangling yourself mm -hmm. into the affairs of this life yeah. while in warfare. Mm -hmm. Our purpose is to please God. Amen. And the way you please God is fulfill your task. Your task is it mentoring. Is it being a witness? Right. Is it sharing the gospel? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, the warfare is real. Yes. Amen? Yeah. Remember, it's not, don't think it's not normal. This is normal part of being in the army of the Lord. Why do we even have an army if we're not going up against the opposition? Right. Mm. If you're a soldier in the army of the Lord, then you already know that you have an enemy that you're against. Yep. Amen? Amen. So don't get caught up in the entanglement and the affairs of this world. Right. And anything that is for God, the adversary is against. Y'all know that, right? That's right. And he will use the world's issues, mm -hmm. whatever those issues are, to get us off task. Right. Amen? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's not go there. Yeah. Amen? Just remember, you're in a army, but you have a leader, Jesus. Yes. And Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that is the highest authority to give us instruction and direction and commandments. Amen. 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 We looked at that a little while ago also, that he is the commander of the army of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. We're not going to go there, but there's another little, little verse that we talked about. Uh, but we're not going to go there. I'm going to stay focused. Amen. 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 All right, so number one we said is uh, be, we need to be strong in Jesus. Number two, don't be entangled in life's affairs mm -hmm. during warfare. And number three, build on those relationships that are fruitful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're not in the battle by yourself. Now, I want you to turn with me. It's just a couple pages to the right to Philemon. It's 2 Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Mm -hmm. Amen? Philemon is also another brother that Paul is ministering to. Yeah. Amen? But I want you to read verses 4 through 7 with me in chapter 1 of Philemon. And it says here, Paul says, I thank my God making mention of you always in my prayers. Talking to Philemon, talk about Philemon. Listen. Hearing of your love and faith which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward who? All the saints. Yeah. It, Philemon not only prays for the, the body of Christ, but he loves the body of Christ. He loves yeah. his brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. and, and he understands that we're all connected and that he operates by faith, right? Mm -hmm. And then he says in verse 6, look, that the sharing of your faith may become effective by acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And look at verse 7. This is it. For we have great joy and consolation in your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed by you, brother. Amen. Wow. Okay. Look. Yeah. Build on those relationships that are fruitful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Philemon is somebody you want to be hooked up with. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because he refreshed yeah. all the brothers and the saints that come around him. Mm -hmm. He's the one that encourages Paul when Paul comes around him. He says, I make mention of you in my prayers because I've heard about your faith and your love for Jesus first. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. And for all the saints. All the saints. The body of Christ. You want to be hooked up to people like that. Amen. Oh, yeah. Somebody who loves the Lord Thank first. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then loves his brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. And this is evidence of that love because it talks about him in verse uh, uh, 6. That the sharing of your faith may become effective by acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you 
in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's in you. You can't hide it. Yep. Your faith, you can't put it, and you know, you can't cover it up when you're truly operating in the kingdom principles. Amen. And Jesus is Lord of your life. Yes. That's right. You can't hide your faith. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to hide your faith. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Apostle Paul is there for his brethren, right? But not only that, he's blessed by, here we go again, like faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quotation marks, like faith. Like faith. Those who have faith like you, yeah. that are in the body of Christ, these are the people you want to build your relationships with. See, Paul didn't just talk to Timothy and never talk to him again, right. or Philemon and never spoke to him again. He made a point to stay in connection with them, whether it's through letters or whether he would show up. He always stayed connected, and every time it was one or the other or both, they ministered to one another. Right. Mm -hmm. He encouraged Philemon. He encouraged Timothy. Timothy encouraged him. Philemon encouraged uh, Paul as well. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. This is what selfless, not selfful, or selfful, self, selfish. Self, selfish, thank you. This is what a selfish, selfless, I should say, ah, selfish. selfless acts will do yeah. for your soul and your spirit. Amen. Amen. It will refresh. Yeah. It will revive. Mm -hmm. And it will cause you to rejoice yes. because of you and others. That's this is the, how you want to build a fruitful relationship. Amen? Amen. So in God's army, don't faint. Amen? Because if you don't grow weary and well-doing, you will reap a harvest if you faint not. Yeah. And you will win. We need to be strong in Jesus. Don't be entangled in life's affairs during warfare. And be uh, built on those relationships that are fruitful. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. May the Lord Amen. bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now and forevermore. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.